In this video, we will take a look at a popular exercise protocol suitable for the rehabilitation of Achilles tendinopathy. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. Achilles tendinopathy presents itself as pain that's commonly worse in the morning during the first 20 minutes of waking up and that gets a little better with activity. Usually, patient history will reveal a spike in activity that's most likely responsible for overload of the tendon. Achilles tendinopathy can be differentiated into insertional and mid-portion tendinopathy. The main difference between the two is the site of pain. In mid-portion tendinopathy, the patient reports pain localized 2 to 7 cm from the calcaneal insertion, whereas insertional tendinopathy is localized heel pain at the superior calcaneal insertion or low at the distal calcaneum. This differentiation becomes important in the loading protocol later on, as we have to be careful with the higher compression of the tendon in insertional tendinopathy. In 1998, Alfredson et al. proposed a heavy load eccentric calf muscle training protocol for the treatment of chronic Achilles tendinopathy. This protocol has been adopted in several RCTs over the years and has shown clinically significant changes in pain and improvement in function of patients with Achilles tendon pain. We've included a couple of trials in the video description down below. But let's get into the protocol. In Alfredson's original trial, the participants did two sessions daily, seven days a week for 12 weeks. The two calf raise variations were performed for three sets of 15 repetitions each. The patients were instructed to increase the load using a backpack with weights or a weight machine as deemed appropriate. A little discomfort during the exercise is acceptable but should not increase beyond a 4 out of 10 on the NPRS and any symptoms post-exercise should subside within 24 hours, otherwise the load was too high. We have also worked with this protocol with a couple of our patients and saw great success along with education on proper load management. A lot of patients also ask if they should get surgery or not. Caillou Mas et al. from 2019 conducted a systematic review comparing surgery to placebo surgery and physiotherapy and also recommends that patients should be encouraged to comply with a structured, exercise-based, conservative treatment for at least 12 months before surgery is actually discussed as an option. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. I have put a lot of references on tendon rehab in the description down below for you to check out. Leave us a comment down below and we will jump into the conversation with you. As always, this was Andreas for Physio Tutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.